Hey guys, it's Shannon. Welcome back to another Quick Tip Tuesday. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to create a faux chippy farmhouse look using paint. Today I'm going to be using chalk paint by Waverly. Obviously this is my favorite chalk paint there is, but you can use acrylic paints as well. You don't have to use chalk paint for this. Uh, the first one I'm going to be using is this chalk paint in the color Elephant. So that's going to be my base color. And then on top of that, I'm going to layer Waverly chalk paint in just the color white. So I have my, my surface prepped and ready to go. I'm just using a piece of pine here to show you an example. It's all sanded down and cleaned off. And then I'm going to be using some foam paint brushes. First thing I'm going to do is just give this piece of wood a coat of the elephant chalk paint. all dry now you can see you can kind of see through the paint but that is no big deal one coat is just plenty so now I'm going to take my white chalk paint and just sort of dry brush it on I'm using a foam paintbrush dry and I just sort of dip it in a little bit wipe off the paintbrush and then I also dab it off on uh, you know a scrap piece of paper or whatever and then just come back in and lightly drag the brush back and forth and then kind of get more as I need it you want to keep this coat sort of light and you're gonna brush it on and sort of smear it and then you're gonna just layer it and add as much as you want or as little as you want and then you let this layer dry. Let me give you a close up of this. So then you let this layer dry and then we'll come back in and do a third layer. All right, so now that this second layer has dried, I'm gonna come back in with some more paint, same thing. So I just put a little bit on my paintbrush, dab it off. And now this coat, I'm actually gonna use it and run it the thin side. Instead of laying it flat, I'm going to turn it on its side and just give it some thin lines that are going to be darker and thicker paint than the first layer of white. So I just kind of put some of the lines in here and then I lay it flat again and just smear that out because you don't want it to have a defined sort of line. You're going to want to just smear that paint out, but just in little sections. You don't want to do the whole thing. So once you have it to your desired look, that is all there is to it. So here's a close-up look of this weathered uh, look with chalk paint. You can do this for the background of wood signs, you can do this to furniture, um, anything you want to kind of give that weathered look to. I hope that you guys will give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. I do DIY tutorials every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as well as these quick tip Tuesdays on Tuesdays. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.